it, it, for a lot of people, getting uh, people in the United States to admit that, that the U.S. is an empire has been a, a, re a relatively Herculean struggle. Uh, in the last 15 years, you'll see it kind of crop more into the lexicon that the people do now talk about the United States as an empire. Uh, but the spin on it is the old exceptionalist mythology that it's a benevolent empire and it's, it's a do-good empire. Uh, and big, big powers can do good, big things. Um, and that's partially true, I suppose, but it's the inverse of that is clear. Uh, it also means that the United States is responsible for over the deaths of a million Iraqis and four and a half to five million Iraqi refugees. Um, it's also uh, the case that the United States is actively waging war on at least six different countries right now. Um, so I think the idea of declining gracefully, I'm not sure how, how uh, one declines gracefully. Um, fiscally, uh, what you likely would see happening is, is uh, increasingly more of a caste structure or a caste system uh, in the U.S. And um, we're seeing more and more of that over the last 10 to 15 years as well. Uh, so I, I don't have a great answer for the declining gracefully component, uh, other than to suggest that people uh, really struggle to be more local, community-driven, community-based. Uh, getting away from the top-down corporate models of government, of NGOs, of everything. Um, and I think that that, that, that model is, uh, is, is failing, and it's not really working for everyday people. So I think that, um, I think rather than focus on the decline of empire, people should focus more on building up their own communities uh, and let the empire